Hi, welcome back to SVP Gaming. Well, after our little uh, bit of fun yesterday at Gillen's, we are now back on our hunt for the elusive and legendary Mary. We're going to be fishing at sunset for a change and we're going to have a different swim. This swim here, I've never fished this one, so this will be an interesting swim to fish. Let's see what we have. And see if we can uh, wrinkle out Mary. I mean, we've not had a bad couple of sessions so far. I mean, I mean, we have had on our quest for Mary. We have had a couple of fish up to uh, over forty pounds. So we can't complain. First thing I've got to do is change our rigs back from yesterday's trip to Gillum's we'll get back on the uh, get back on our hinge rig there we are a size 4 hinge all of them Let's remember this one I've got to change the bait back as well change this hook back to what we want there we go hinge rig and then you change this bait back we were using sent from hell as you know that seems to do business there we are sent from hell that always seems to produce us some fish and uh, get this one get this hook changed back to our, there we are all our rods are set. Let's get back. Have a look around here. Let me see now what we have in this swim. Let's get down on the water's edge. And we've got open water over there. We've got a nice little back channel over there. Is it, will it let us claim this as a peg? No, it doesn't let us claim that little spot as a peg. Okay, we have to go to the actual peg then, I suppose. I mean, over there, no, that's just a block gate. Again, I wish they'd let us walk the whole of the lake. Well, that's fine, we can come here. And we've got access to the open water and the back channel down there. Let's have a cast out the open water, see what we can find before we set our baits. There we go. See if we can find a nice gravel patch out there. As we do seem to be producing the carp on the gravel. That's weed, weed. Got a silt, silt patch for us there. We have a gravel patch about 76 yards out there. Perfect. So we'll come back and we will claim our peg. And we will cast that one out. 76 yards out. See if this will give us the distance onto the gravel but oh uh, way too far. Let's bring him back, bring him back to the gravel. Still, let me up. 78. That's perfect. Now we get the next rod out on that spot. It's sent from hell. Again I do wish they had a bottom bait for this particular match this pop up but what can you do and on the gravel there we are we're on the gravel we're in 15 to 16 foot of water it's the deepest we fish so far we're usually fishing in shallow water so this will be interesting to see what the deeper water and we're off. And we're off. I mean, this is just a drag. I should really just a drag when I cast them, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> Luckily, I don't forget to do that when I'm uh, fishing for real. <laughs> Hopefully, we get some nice big carp again, and with any luck, we get some of the trophies. And yeah, hopefully we uh, tag Mary. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure to uh, 
like and subscribe and comment below anything I ask is you keep your comments friendly helpful yeah, we are on the carp is that carp or bream? hard to tell so hard to tell at this point or is it a big tent this I mean when you come in this sunset light it's really is, does make a difference to how you can see the fish in the water Oh, it's a big tench. Hopefully we don't get plagued by tench like we did on the uh, other one, 15 pound. That's my personal best tench so far, so I'm not going to complain about that. But hopefully we don't get plagued by them like we did up on the sunken tractor boat swim we were on the other day. Let's get this rod back out there. Back on the gravel, and then we get our essential cell out there. Yep. And we get our essential cell rod out there as well. Then we'll get our spot rod clipped up that distance and uh, we know we're on the gravel at 76 yards, so that's fine. Let's go our spot rod. We our spot rod is loaded with link at the moment. We get a couple of spots of link, then we'll switch that over to some essential cell. That's a bit too far, so we're going to need to bring him back to yeah, 77 yards is perfect considering where we are. There we are, we clipped up there at that distance, and we're off. And it's the essential cell. Hopefully we're not in a bream hole. Let's adjust the drag again on this rod. There we go. I always like to set it about 40 when I'm fishing for big carp. I don't want to set it any higher than that because it will snap the uh, snap your line off a lot easier. I mean, comment below if you have any tips how you like to set your drag, what you like to set it at when you're fishing for different species. Uh, this is going a bit tensy again, my way he's uh, bombing about. Is it tensy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like another tent. Yes, it is another tent. Well, that's fine, we'll keep fishing it. If we get bombarded with a tent, we will um, change our spot. Another tent, not as big as the last one. Uh, eight pounds. I mean, that's still a nice size tent if you were fishing for them. Let's get this rod back out on the spot. Back out of this one was on about 76 yards of the he has gone. We thought there we go. And the link's off and it's looking tenchy again isn't it the way he's uh, ploughing around the swim. You know, we're producing fish, it's not the species we're after, it's certainly not the trophy fish we're after. Whether we have to fish through them or... Let's hope this doesn't turn into a tent session. It's very strange finding tension. Are we on? Oh, looks like we might be on the old cart this time. And number two's off. Is that, oh, is that cart? Is it green? It's green. I run green this time. Let's go on. Yeah, green. £9.14. That's a good size green, but we don't want you. We don't want you. Sent from hell is off. Not the first one to go off this time for a change. Of course this is the first fish on this rod, so let me get the drag set. There we go. And if it comes 
to it I will set the hooks up so we can't catch the bream but intent but oh well, it sounds like the other rods off we're, uh, Turn it around, green or tent again by the way he's playing around there. The way he's fighting. He's coming in too easy to be a tarp, I would say. Yep, tent. If this becomes tent, that looks tells me that that spot is a prime tent spot. We need to find another spot in the swim. That's fine. I don't even care if this snaps off. <laughs> Let's just get him in. Another 10. 11 pound. Not bad. Let's get that third rod. And what we do if this is a bring more tench, we will uh, be finding a new spot to fish at. To fish in. Maybe down the back channel a bit. That may be uh, catch any carp cruising up the channel there. Oh yeah, we've had a few fish, we can't complain. Hopefully we only just we haven't we only put one spot out there, so we haven't invested too much in that spot so far. And maybe fishing the sunset is what brings the tench on. I mean we it is the time to catch tench if you're fishing is the sunset. There we go, he's in the net. So, potential self and power. Yeah. They do tend to get caught early morning, late evening. So let's have a look down this uh, back channel here a bit then, shall we? See if we can find another gravel bar out there. Oh, we're up on the bank, are we? Yeah, we're over the island. That was way too far a cast. At least this one we can drag forward now. Oh, one foot. There we're four foot there. Okay, so 78 yards up there. We've got a gravel patch, four foot of water. So let's try that one. Let's get all our rods down on that one. Yep. Let's get all our rods out over there on that spot. Nine yards up. So good thing is it means we don't have to change the spot rod because we're about the same distance. So yeah, we're on the same distance, so we haven't got to change our spot rods. We've already clipped up at that distance. We've got a link out there, that's it. Up on a bank, that's fine. Good, so let's get our spawns up, chuck some bait out there now, shall we? Nice to see, we already clipped up at that distance, so I'm not too fast. We shouldn't overshoot it, undershoot it, we'll certainly get it 10 yards short. Maybe we need a bit more power in the car. So like I said, this so far, Dovetail have made the best fishing game so far um, that I've played. I mean, they've worked with fishermen clearly to uh, get them off. Sent from help, first one off. Are we going to be on the right species this time? I think we might. Yeah, I think we may be. It's not tearing around the swim like the other one was, was it? We may be on the cart this time. Wait and see what we get. 
the other spot was just producing tents, one bream, not a part, and was it four runs we had? Not one of them produced what we were after, not even the right species. So here we are, the sunset on this peg. And hopefully we're on the cart this time. Be nice to see. Yes, we're on the cart. Doesn't look like one of the trophies, but at least we found a spot for the speech, right species. <laughs> When you little madden. Yeah, little little cart. Oh, nice. What are we gonna go for? Thirteen pound, that's not bad. Low double. Happy with that. At least we are on the right track now. So let's uh, let's do a oh, let's put the rod down, go inventory and uh, oh, we'll put the rod down. <laughs> well, the third one's in the weed, is it? Oh well, we might. We'll leave that in the weed just off because we produced a big forty doing that the other day in a different spot. So into our inventory, go load up our cart. Our squad rod was no, wrong one. And load up our squad rod with some essential cell. And do that, that. Here our squad rod. Check some of this out there. Come on. A little bit short, a little bit more power on the cast there. See if we can land it. How about the right distance? Just close that. Well, I have noticed the casting power can be quite random. It doesn't always go the same distance, even the same casting power. You know, this one will ping off the clip, I expect. Is it? I don't know. See, that was a lot more power, it still only went the same distance. from hell again doing, seems to be doing business on this spot Let's see. Are we still on cart Definitely fighting like a cart for this one. And so, if you found uh, ways of identifying different fights on this game, you know, comment below. Let us know what you've discovered gameplay wise. Anything you like about the gameplay, anything you don't like. Share any tips or tricks for catching the trophies. You know. Oh, you know, share what you think Dovetail could do to improve this game. That would be awesome. Like I said, ideally, I'd like to start a community where we can actually get our ideas to Dovetail and have them bring in what we wish. Oh, well, you're in the net. Why aren't you being netted? There you go. Let's start with board. Well, that's a better fish. 20, mid 20, yeah, we'll take that. We will take that. Get our rod back over there. Oh, 
Trophy Hunter pack add-on. So uh, see if it actually does help us land the trophies. And this is our third uh, session in the campaign for Mary, and you'll take as many sessions as it takes, but we will capture. I said, comment below if you have any tips or tricks for where she'll be, what time, the day, weather. I mean, I'll reset the weather to dynamic so it can choose itself, but if you caught her in the game, you know, it'd be nice to know what sort of tips and tricks you use to catch her. Yeah, it's not a cart, not a trophy. No, it's not a trophy cart, this one. But, you know, it looks a nice cart. Nice linear. See what size they give us for it. Got another mid 20. Just, just another respectable fish. Not the one we're after. But let's get the essential cell. This one. So we now found the carp. So uh, see if this produces different time of day. Like the last two sessions were afternoon. This is sunset. Right. Be uh, really cool. I wonder if Terry Ern plays this game. That would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Terry Ern sat home to catch Mary again. Got on some cute game. <laughs> that would be uh, quite amusing. Really? I'm surprised that I carry a bottom bait rig on this game. It's quite a famous cart bridge. Right, another linear maybe. Hard to tell. The sunlight light as I found at Gillen just they was making it hard to tell the fish until they were right in. This one's definitely a mirror. What the patterning is, hard to say. There we are. Oh, it wasn't on the linear. I was right. I did see that stripe. That's a perfect little zip linear, though. 28 pounds. And we level up. So, more tackle points. But I've decided to spend on things. I need to test my new bass boat that came with the trophy on this pack yet. I mean, get our rods back out on the spot. Cart at the high 20 so far. So keep uh, putting the time in and we will catch it. I mean, same as we would do if we were campaigning for a fish on a lake. I ain't even had a chance to spot that. That one's literally just gone back out. <laughs> you literally just put this rod back out. I didn't even have a chance to spot any bait over that spot. That's, yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, this one is stronger. I want to power around that corner. Try and keep it coming back this way. 
keep pressure on. Keep pressure on, make sure she'll come back this way. Yeah, she done. I say she, I mean if it's Mary, it wouldn't be a she. As I said before, Mary, it was actually a male fish. Hello. Definitely on the top here. Yeah. It was the right choice to move swims away from the tension green and just go and wipe us out bait wise. Oh, it's just, oh look, those could have been quite common. Could be a bit of a common there. I can't tell. Can't tell. Can't tell. Mm. Could be a common. It's so hard to tell unless it's fading light that they give you on the sunset. But then in real life it's the same thing, you fish in night. Maybe a night session next time. And we'll find a in the net. Oh in the net. It was a common. <laughs> Not uh, 23, low 20s. Nice little fish. Let's get back, get the rod back out on the spot. All we can do. Let's keep fishing. Hopefully, something will turn up. And we stop. Keep fishing, hope for the best. Big hippopot chunks in there. Mark pictures would say. Looking very carpy. Looking very carpy. I said sometimes for sort of casting a spot in the area, it seems to, you know, disturbance on the surface seems to attract. Fish this one will ping off the clip, I suspect. No, it didn't. I bet it didn't go as far. Too much power. This spot doesn't go as far. Interesting thing to note. Like I said, it can be quite random the spot power cast in. Not enough power that time. Oh, we're off. We're off again. Let's pull that up. Uh, descent from hell. See what we've got attached to this time. Okay. Ooh. That, I think, is a bigger fit. The way it's shot up on the tension. Could be completely wrong, I find. It's a single figure cut or three. <laughs> After saying that, never count the chickens. Or you can't wait. Oh, it's definitely the carp. Again, it doesn't look like one of the trophy carp. Certainly, you don't look. No, definitely not a Mary. Or. But we were definitely on the carp. Bit smaller than I first thought because he didn't really able to take the line off the drag, so yeah, he's not not as big as we first were hoping for. So he's netted already. Say so mid low to mid doubles. Yeah, mid double. Sixteen pound fifteen. Yeah. At least we're on the cart. We haven't had our uh, visit from any uh, monsters yet. There we go. Let's do a bit more spotting out there. 
whilst we wait for another bite. Sometimes it's what it takes, you just got to spar, track the fish in with the noise of the spar. Too much power, not far enough out. And we should need to get the power right. 50% or so. Probably 60 is too much. 71 yards. fish coming in here soon I would have thought. Let's put the spot rod down there. Yeah so we've had the past few sessions we always we've landed 40s on both of those sessions we've had so far on our merry campaign. Now let's see if we can get at least another 40. It'd be nice if Mary spawned here and naffled our bait. Well, we uh, wait and see. I don't know, is anybody else out there campaign for the trophy fish in particular like this? Pick a lake and stick with it until you uh, land your trophy fish that you're after. If you do, comment below. I mean, if you do that, if you go carp fishing in real life, again, comment below. I'm a carp fisherman myself. Though I would do fish for other things. I do go sea fishing. I do fish for other coarse fish. So, you know, it'd be interesting to hear your fishing experiences down below. Uh, I do love the mechanics of this game and we're off. We are off and the scent from hell is off. And there we are. We're attached to another fish. Uh, let's see what we've got. It's gonna be nice if Mary pops her head up now. I mean or Mary's mate. If Mary's mate turns up that would tell me if we're fishing it for real life would tell me that Mary's in the area. At least, There's, you know, those are two fish that I'm about together quite a lot. So maybe in the game you get the same thing. If you, Mary's mate turns up, then uh, Mary's in the area. Be interesting to know if they put that in the game. That's a little one, just a little one, a little dinker. Let's get the snap of our bait. But it's the right species, it's better than uh, being played by Bream Tank. I do wish they would put in the animation for returning the fish. That would be really nice. And we've got another fish going. There we go. 16 pound comment. Fine. Get Rick. Okay, the link is off this time. There we are, we're attached. We're on boys. It'd just be awesome if they could put those animations for returning fish. But obviously so you can click off them, so, so you've got another run like we did then. But when you haven't got another run, it'd be nice to see the return of the fish, different animations for different fish. Some of them going off nicely, some of them going off like, you know, trains and splashing everyone. That would be really nice to see, nice touch. Oh, what we got attached to? It looks like another common. Again, just like in real life, let the rod do the work. Are they common? Oh, it looks like common. Just showing you up, and it'll be a perfect fit then you're a leather. Because I've said it's a common. <laughs> I 
I'd say it's covered, it'll come in and true leather, leather with not a single scale on it. Just to show me up. That would be typical. There we are, in the net. I was right, it was a common. I don't have to hang my head in shame. £31, fish sizes are going up. They are going up. That's what we want to hear. Let's get these two rods back out on the spot. Oh, a little bit off. That's fine. Only just off of it. And rod two. Hmm. Sent from hell. Really. Get this cast out there a second. There we go. Essential cells decided to go off as we're casting. Typical. Well, we've got the cast in. We've still got two rods fishing as we uh, play this fish in. Put the time in. And the fish. Come on, come back this way, come back this way, that's it, that's what we like to see, come this way, we need you this way, put some pressure on it, bring it back, there we go, lower the rod, bring it back, oh, that's it right there. Well, it looks like a mirror subscription. I couldn't say what mirror. Mm. Couldn't say. Couldn't say. We are definitely on the cart, and that's what I like to hear. It wasn't a mirror. Now I look like a fool. Twenty bid twenty common. And I said it was a mirror in the water. What a fool. Oh my god. Am I ever gonna live that down? Oh my god, I can't believe I said that. Proven wrong, completely wrong. Completely skip them. Get some bait out there again now. We've got a few fish off that spot, so let's bait up on it. I think 68 is going to be too much, he's going to land way short. Way short, I think. Oh, this is going to ping right off the cliff and land about 10 foot too short. No, it didn't. Oh, that was lucky. Put the rod down now and wait and see if we get another take. Yep. Right then, so we'll wait and see now whether uh, anything will take those now we spotted out. It is tempting to take that rod and see if there's another spot along there that may produce. I've got to say, over the past year, what's been going on with pandemics and such like, this game became a lifesaver during lockdown. I mean, and I'm sure there's many other people out there who are fishermen who use this game as a kind of substitute for the real thing. During the whole lockdown.
taking control of their kids' uh, consoles. I started playing originally on the kids' Xbox and then I got it for me PC. So, uh, yeah, been really, really good game. Like I said, so far it's the best fishing game I've played. But you obviously played all the others. Like I said before, the famous Sega Bass fishing game. Obviously, used to play that when I was younger. When it first came out, yes, I am that old. And, uh, but this one, the game mechanics, good, the fish fight. Sometimes the bream fight a little bit too hard because bream never fight that hard in real life. They just plod in. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to this summer getting out doing some real fishing again. I'm sure anybody else who's got plans for fishing, what they're targeting this year, comment below. As I said, like and subscribe these videos. And maybe in the future we'll get round to doing some uh, videos of actual real fishing as well at some point. That would be really cool one of my actual carp sessions at some point in the summer now if that's something you'd like to see you know comment below if you'd like to see also see some real fishing at some point and we'll see what we can do during the course of the year Let's like and subscribe and obviously click that little bell thing apparently I've got to tell you to uh, receive notifications when I upload I really want people to make use of the comment section you know I really want to start making a community for like people playing this game sharing tips for catching these fish ideas for what they could do to improve the game new add-ons like I was saying when we were fishing gillums yesterday it'd be nice if we put some of the other species that gillums have in there like the stingray, the giant snakeheads. What is that? What else do they have in there? Oh yeah, the Julian's carp. Definitely need the Julian's carp in there. The black shark carp, the Rohu carp. They would be really cool additions to that. I mean, in the lakes we could have trout, and we got two rods off at the same time oh no there we go this this we're on this one we're on rod number one we're on the link link and essential cell went off this time Fortunately, it won't let you sack the fish so you can photograph it later like you would in real life if you had two fish on you would get one in sack it get the other one in and you'd uh, weigh and photograph them. Unfortunately, you don't get the option in the game. Again, that's something that they could do. Also, like I said, it'd be nice to have some of the rivers, British rivers, salmon, trout, grayling, barbel, river barbel, we got fighting the current. The Ebro in this game, I know they did it for uh, one of the other games, but let's have it for this game since so that game uses exactly the same game mechanics and game engine there's no reason they couldn't bring the ebro into this game and release it for people who bought this game rather than oh here's the game that is essentially the same game you're playing go and buy exactly the same game a second time just yeah come on Come in, I've got another fish to land. Obviously something in American rivers like the Fraser, so there's a big Pacific salmon, King salmon, runs. Some of the more southern lakes of America for the alligator gar. That'd be a nice touch. The buffalo carp. Linear. 31 pounds. Now let's get this other rod in. Here we go. Let's get rod three. Tight 
Might not do it. And I'm wrong. We haven't lost it. Yay! Sometimes that happens and you're guaranteed you lose it. I mean, if that happens at Killums, yeah, you've lost that second fish where you played in the first one most of the time. Sometimes you get away with it in this game. On the cart. Central Cellar working there, obviously we've had a couple on the sent from Hell. I think the link is a... Hello. I'm not even going to try and guess this fish because I'll get it wrong. <laughs> like, it's like the last time I said the mirror, it turned out to be common. <laughs> oh, my fishy. Come yeah, on, you know you want to come into the net and do photographs. I can show you all the lovely people watching. Yeah, put it in the room in the net. There we are. Another uh, linear mirror. Nice. £27.4 ounce. No big fault using this session so far, like we had last time. Let's get our rods back out on the spot. out the same spot. Look how tight those lines are. I wouldn't have those lines that tight. They'd be slacking under the water and sunk under the water if I was fishing for real. <laughs> hey ho. Bright yellow line, obviously. Exactly what we'd be using. <laughs> spot out there now. It's not been a bad session. No 40s in this session like we had in the last couple of sessions. But you know, we've had them up to over 30, so we're not going to complain. Certainly not going to complain about it. But we're certainly putting in the hours. And we will eventually get married in one of these videos. Which will be awesome. Obviously then we'll have to find another fish to campaign for. So, you know, definitely write in the comments below what fish you might want to see a campaign for which of the trophy fish I think that was maybe one more spot just for good luck oh that I'm off send from hell this time Okay, I'm going to say it's probably a smaller cart due to the fact that it's a smaller bait. session of the campaign and maybe we'll do a night session comment below if you want us to do a night session for Mary you know there's a particular time of day you want me to fish or on the game if there's a weather situation you want me to pick game wise you know comment it below let me know what you think will work to catch Mary? You give me that, uh, I 
in a particular time of day or weather conditions you want to see fish for. Obviously comment it below and I will uh, attempt to uh, Pound. Yeah, see what this one is. Not gonna cast back out. Just like I said, this will be this unless rod one goes off whilst we're playing it or landing it. Then uh, this will be the last fish of this session. So holding out deep. Holding his own. This one is gonna don't even want to come in. Not being moved. It could be a good sized fish. And it could just be a stubborn little fish. Yeah, I'd really love to know your ideas for how to catch Mary on this game. Tips for anyone who's caught Mary. I guess there must be people out there that's landed her watching this. Yeah. Come on. Hopefully, our last fish is a nice one. That would be a nice ending to this session. No, they won't come in yet. Don't keep the pressure on, let the rod do the work. The design for it. No, mm -hmm. oh, I don't like that. He did not like that. be a tenacious little one. Uh, doesn't look like it's trophy shaped. No. Does not look trophy shaped. But see what we got for our last fish of the session unless that other rod goes a nice zip linear. Can't complain. Pretty fish. Forty five pound we got another forty. Get in. And it is a trophy. It is C scale. It is C scale. So it's our first trophy fish in our Mary campaign. That is banging. What a way to end a session. What a way to end a session. With a trophy carp. 45 pounds, 3 ounces, C scale, caught on the essential cell. Anybody else out there that's caught C scale? Uh, post in the comments below where you caught her, what swim. Uh, what bait you were using that was awesome awesome let's put C scale back and close our peg okay let's close the peg so there we go that's the end of today's session on merry campaign not as long as the other two we obviously have other things to do today but I thought definitely need to get session in and that what a blinder it landing that trophy fish, last fish, C scale, coming in to the bank at £45. So, yeah, like and subscribe, comment below, anything you want to do with the game. And, yeah, we will be back to continue our session for Mary. Comment below if it's a time of day or weather conditions you want me to select to do it in. And, uh, this is Steve signing off and I'll catch you next time. Take care.